am Sean Cheek. Welcome to my easy piano lessons. Um, this song is complete on my website, webpianoteacher.com. Here's the free part one for you. Those of you who usually, or who follow me and watch my lessons, know that I usually use a whiteboard in the background, trying something a little different today. For those of you who uh, may want to improve your sight reading, your note reading, and learn a little bit uh, about reading, you know, traditional music notation. So, let me know if you like this type of lesson or not, and I'll continue it. And of course, I will always continue my whiteboard lesson, so don't worry about that. If you really like the whiteboard way, so uh, that will not stop. But let's get started here. We have three flats in the key signature. So we have B flat, E flat, and A flat are our automatic flats. B, E, and A are automatically flat. We're in 12-8 time, which tells us 12 beats each measure, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The eighth note gets the beat. That's what the eight is there is there for. So we have 12 beats in each measure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we can see the eighth notes there uh, and, and count clearly the 12 counts, 12 beats in each measure. So let's start with the right hand, okay? We're going to start on a B flat. Now it's automatically flat because uh, of the key signature. So here's middle C, here's B flat. Here's our first note, B flat. Then we're going to go up to G, right up here. Okay, we're going to go uh, three counts on that, one, two, three, and then it's tied because of the small curved line. So that's tied to that note. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to go to an F, back to a G, and then back to an F for three more counts, and then to E flat for two counts and then down to B flat for the last, for the 12th count. So this is how we count that and play it. Uh, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, because we're in 12, 8. Eighth note gets, an eighth note gets one count. A dotted quarter note is gonna get three counts, and just a regular quarter note is gonna get two counts. So that's why we're counting it that way. One more time. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now I counted 12 on that one because it's a pickup note. Okay, so we just start with count 12 and then start counting from 1 to 12 in each measure. All right, let's look at the left hand. We start with a low E flat down here. Then we're going to move up to G and E flat. So G and E flat there. If leisure lines are hard for you to read, they're hard to read for everyone. Just remember on the left hand right here that the line, line, line is C, E, G. Okay, and that will help you gauge the rest of the notes. Okay, so C, E, G, line, 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 and then that'll help you with these other ones. But G and E flat together, then we move up to B flat, E flat, G, G, B flat, E flat, G, and then down to E flat here. Okay, now down to the low E flat, this E flat, and then up to A flat and D. Okay, that sounds kind of funny because it's a uh, augmented fourth, but uh, that's supposed to sound that way. Now here we actually have a C flat. Middle C flat is going to actually be a B note. Okay, so C flat is this note. Then we have a regular D. And this note up here is an A because if it goes C, E, G for line, 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 A is the next note higher. But we're going to flat it because of the key signature. So we have C flat, D, and A flat. We're back down to low E flat, and then we're back up to the same two things we did right here. Okay, so we're going to do that again. And then let's move down to lower D right here, and then we're going to do this again, the same thing we did there. Okay, so the left hand in the first measure goes like this. Ready, go. Next group of three. Let's try to put hands together slowly. So we'll start with the right hand, B flat. Sorry that I'm moving along fast. YouTube videos have to be 10 minutes or less. So we got to get it all in in 10 minutes. Together here, you can pause your video though, right? Left, left, then just right because the right hand is, is tied. Then together, and then together here, and then together here, left, left, together here, left, and then together. One more time for you. 10, 11, 12. Okay, 
let's continue on with the second measure. And uh, doing good on time. All right. <clears throat> right hand has a G, then down to a C, but we have something here called a turn. It's that little snake looking thing. What we're going to do is play a C, then we're going to play a D flat. We're going to do the upper note. See the flat there that tells us to flat the D. Then go back down to the C, and then go down to a B natural. See the natural under the turn sign, so that means a natural B. And then back to C. Now, have I got you totally confused? Good. Um, now, let's, let's look at it again. We're going to have C, D flat, C, B, C. So we play a total of, uh, let's see, actually four notes. I may have played it incorrectly when I first did it. You're just going to have four notes. One, two, three, four. You're going to start with D flat, and then do C, and then B natural, and then C, okay? So I may have played it incorrectly when I first did it, but I'm correcting myself now, okay? <laughs> so one, two, three, four. So D flat, C, B natural, C. So G, and then one, two, three, four. All right? You might want to finger it four, three, two, one. And then a high C. Down to G right here, up to B flat, and then an A flat there, and then a G. So this measure is G, and then one, two, three, four. Okay, now the counting, you don't really have to count the right hand because the left hand's counting it for you. Just line them up, okay? So don't spend a lot of time trying to count that right hand, you won't need to. Now, left hand has a low C down here. <coughs> then up to G and E natural, G and E natural. Then we're going to move up to B flat, E natural still, it's still a natural. And then up to a G, B flat, E natural, G. And then C right here, back up to E, a G and E natural. And the next thing we have is C, E, and B flat. So C, E, and the top one is a B flat way up here, okay? C, E natural, B flat down to low F, and then up to F and D flat, and then right here, don't let this scare you, B flat, D flat, the B, B is already flat because of the key signature, the D is flatted because it was flatted right here, and flats last the whole measure, all right, and then the top note is an E natural, so it looks like that, B flat, D flat, E natural, and then we go back to F, low F, and then F and C together, and then that last one here, the last chord is an F minor chord, A flat, C, F. So let's try the left hand starting here. Ready, go. Next group. Next group. Last group. Okay, let's try hands together. Ready, go. See how I've started the D flat with that, and I and I, I've started. See one, two, three, four. I play all four notes while I'm playing that. One, two, three, four, and then I continue on here. Okay, one more time. Starting here. Ready, go. See if we have time to maybe look at the two measures again. Oh, 30 seconds left. All right, not really. So, <laughs> um, <clears throat> you guys enjoy this? Let me know if you like this type of lesson. It will help you to learn uh, read music better. So keep that in mind. And uh, of course, all the lessons for this are on webpianoteacher.com.